At the request of several people, I'm going to talk a little bit about karambit work. You know, kar when karambits were reintroduced into, you know, the early 2000s, a lot of people were amazed by the way that it looked, the, they thought it was special, and it is. It's a very unique knife, comes from Indonesia, and there's so many different ways that people use it, and I'm just gonna give you my spin on it. Now, there have been some people that say that if you're spinning the karambit like this, you know, that it's not useful, and you know, it's, it's more for show than anything else. And you know what, that is true. That is true, but so is this. I can take this, spin it in my hand, go like that. Do all these wonderful things. I can do all these wonderful flourishes with that knife. But in the hands of someone who's skilled, or someone that has training, those techniques, even if they look like flourishes, can be used for disarming, disabling, and even death. So I'm gonna give you my spin on this karambit. These karambits were actually made by Keen Edge Knives. They, they produce all of my training blades, and uh, the people there are wonderful. And they actually custom make some of uh, the, web, the knives that I use. And I like the karam because it's got a nice feel to it, nice heft, fits right in the palm of the hand, whether, I, whether I'm, hurting, I'm holding it in ice pick or in saber grip. And again, the little hole is for retention, so that even if my hand opens up, I don't lose the blade. I still have the ability to retain it. Let's talk about that spinning. <clears throat> spinning just for the sake of spinning like this, yeah, that's cool and all. Look at me. Oh, let me go. And it can look good. I mean, I can make it look like, like the six shooters in the, in the old westerns. But what people don't see is I'm generating power. And I call this the vortex concept. Um, it's actually from uh, a form of kung fu called kun, kun lun kung fu. And it talks about what is called the vajra, where there's a vortex above and a vortex below. I won't bore you with the details, but what I will tell you, it's about centrifugal and centripetal force. So when I take this blade out, for example, if I take this karambit out of my scabbard and I bring it up, I can immediately stab just like that. I also have the ability, if I pull it out and I whip it, uh, you can't hear it. Yeah, but maybe I'll get a little close here. Yeah? Listen, can you hear that? Maybe not. There's a lot of force coming off this blade. So the moment that I deploy that knife, I'm generating power. So what good is that? Well, I'll show you. My assistant, Matthew, is going to just hold on to this blade and uh, fencing grip. And we have all kinds of techniques we can do. We can deflect, and to a pain, trap, stab his hand, we have all these things that we can do. But when, let's do it slowly, as soon as I see that knife and I pull my blade out at the same time, wow! And this is a dual edge knife. So as soon as I'm coming down, there's a lot of cutting power that's happening, and I won't really hit him, but as soon as he comes in, uh, let's go to moderate speed, yeah, and just like that, just like that. Now I'm gonna tap him, yeah, so I'm gonna go like this. Bam, you see that? Whether I hit him with the, the handle or the tip, there's a lot of power. Just to show you the part, can you do me a favor? Can you just hold the blade like that? So I'm gonna go like this. Can you hear that? That's the amount of power that's coming out of that blade. Now, I can use it to hit the, wrap the top of his knuckle. I can deflect, wrap the top of his head. And every time that I'm doing this, yeah, I'm trying to get these cuts. And you don't wanna, you don't wanna hold a knife like this. That's not a useful cut. But by curving my finger as I deploy this blade, I'm retaining the knife. So when he does come in and I cut one, I can come back up, cut two, and then slice. So again, I'm using that centripetal, centrifugal force to um, cut into his body. So I'm not just, go ahead, I'm not just hacking. Hacking's powerful, short, compact, helps with the close range, but before he even comes in, yeah, right now, wow, just right across that hand. Now I happen to, I happen to have two of them, so if I have them in my, my scabbard or my, my utility belt, yeah, when he comes in, there's one, there's the other, yeah? And again, it's, it's I don't have to, I, I might not have the range holding it in ice pick, but as soon as I extend, people say, oh, that's a useless stab. That's right, it's a useless stab, but it's a perfect cut. Yeah, I'm whipping, yeah? And even if I hold the blades like this, the drawback to this is you might not get a good cut, yeah? But you see that little figure eight? It's like that. That's like putting your hands into a blender, isn't it? And when you go with both of them, huh? Yeah, all that matters is that you have clearance. I know, people are sitting out there, 
you probably stab yourself. Yeah, that's why you practice. You practice so you don't stab yourself. You practice with live blades to have a better understanding of blade proximity, blade awareness. And for myself, I love karambits. I love the fact that they're compact, the retention is high. Now, one thing that we didn't go over real quick, and I'm just gonna briefly go over it, is that because it covers my knuckle, now I have a, a striking device, I have an impact tool. So if he comes in like this, and I hack like this, right now I don't have to cut him. Yeah, everyone wants to cut and kill, but you know what, I could be compassionate, I'll just break his nose. Maybe I'll drive into his mastoid uh, and negotiate with him. Or maybe when that knife comes in, I'll sidestep, yeah, deflect it real quick, and instead of cutting through his hand or going through the, the bones, I'll just hit the back of the hand and disarm the knife. So when that knife goes out, now I can negotiate. Yeah, he punches with the other hand, I can pick this up, I can cut, or I can use the, the little ring, and again, yeah, maybe negotiate a little bit, huh? all just by uh, understanding the, the usefulness of this particular tool.